although no, so, not so rapid growth. Um, a growth which will be more harmonious and inclusive. China's strategy on green and sustainable development is very clear and very strong. And if the economy is based on export of, of goods, of, of materials, manufactured goods, then you are dependent on the rest of the world for your economy. But if you spur internal growth by doing innovation and, and creating things and then selling to each other inside China, then you have a much stronger economy. Politics is always a conversation about the future. Uh, this is the, ens the essence of politics as a process, because people uh, are always looking for a better future. And the job of the politicians is to provide paths, to provide solutions for a better future, better life for average citizens. And in this context, uh, in both uh, areas, the European Union and China, are facing new challenges. As I shared today, Part of these challenges are a result of uh, your own successes in the past. The success of the very rapid economic growth was creating internal disbalances, overcapacities in some areas, uh, internal um, divisions and frictions which have to be rebalanced. And uh, I'm aware that nowadays China is looking for new priorities, uh, more sustainable, although no, so, not so rapid growth. Um, growth which will be more harmonious and inclusive. China's strategy on green and sustainable development is very clear and very strong. It was clear in the 12th five-year plan. It's become still more strong and still more clear in the 13th five-year plan, and I think this is a very good step forward. So for China, as like most countries, the first thing is efficiency. There are very big gains from just using energy more efficiency. And China's had explicit targets on energy efficiency in the 12th plan, which it achieved, and they will have targets on energy efficiency in the 13th. So very strong action there has a big payoff in terms of pollution and uh, the battle against climate change. Well, I think we've seen tremendous change in the China market. Uh, you know, it's liberalized a lot and it's opened up and it has certainly become easier to do business in, uh, in China, not only from a regulatory uh, standpoint, but also because of the whole infrastructure of, uh, of the country it has developed so, so quickly. Uh, 20 years ago, it was very difficult to move products around the country. Um, logistic systems were not really developed and uh, regulations surrounding foreign investment were, were particularly cumbersome, but nowadays it's, it's certainly a lot easier. Working with new technologies against pollution, which means uh, a slowdown of the growth, but uh, a more sustainable, more equitable growth.